Hey guys, if you're new here and you like what I'm putting out, don't forget to hit that big red subscribe button and turn on all notifications so you never miss an upload. Hey, what's going on guys? Ash here, back again with another Power Rangers related video. And yesterday, or today, or whatever time zone you're in, there was a Fan First Friday talking about Power Rangers, showing up their upcoming Lightning Collection, showing off a few products that are random and in the Dino Fury Kids line. They showed off, they showed off a fair few things. So in this video, I'm going to go over my thoughts. I did react to everything when it happened, but... Now I've had it marion marionate, I can uh, think about the stuff they, they're releasing, give my thoughts, and just ramble on in however long this video is. So, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and don't forget to turn on all notifications. Share this video around on social media to other Power Ranger fans, see if they'll like it, and stuff like that. With that said, let's talk about... Fan First Friday that happened and the products they revealed. So I'm reading this off Ranger Command. Go follow Ranger Command. Really awesome people over there. Awesome podcast. Awesome Twitter. Uh, awesome everything. They do some awesome work in the community. So I highly recommend checking them out and giving them a follow on social media. So uh, I'm going to try and go in order with everything they revealed. I probably won't talk about the shoes because I don't think this is on the website. Um... And I probably won't talk about the Krona Saber um, they revealed for Dino Fury because I made a video about that as, as well. So let's talk about the first thing they revealed and that is the Jada uh, Honda 2002 car. So this thing, I know that it confuses a lot of people. Like why do they make these? Why do they release these? Who's the target audience? And it's made for someone out there because you usually you have that car nut who's also a fan of Power Rangers, people collect cars, they have their certain cars that they like, and then they see something Power Rangers with it, they'll probably pick it up, but I'm probably not going to pick this up, maybe you will, I don't know, but uh, this thing isn't really my cup of tea, it probably is your cup of tea, but it's not my cup of tea, just saying it, but if I do see it for like $5 somewhere, maybe I'll pick it up, but for me, this isn't really my thing, but Jada or Jada, they do put out some really good die-cast stuff um, when they release it, like the figures and stuff like that, and seeing this car in the Fan First Friday, it did look pretty good, I will say that. And even looking at this photo now with the image with the shine on the die-cast, it looks pretty cool. So, scrolling down, you've got uh, uh, Dragon Armor Trini and Legacy Wars. I don't play much of Legacy Wars, or I don't play it at all. Um... So, yeah, and then they also talked about Power Month, which I'll get into at the end of the video. So, next up is the Tiger Electronic. Now, this confuses me. I have no idea why they're releasing this, and I'm not taking a big shit on Hasbro on why they're releasing this, or who is this targeted towards. I know who this is targeted towards, and it just baffles me. So... This thing is like an era of nostalgia for people my age in their 30s or higher. If you're like probably under the age of 18, you probably don't know what one of these are unless you saw your like sibling or family member have one um, that was just lying around. But this is a product of its time and it's marketed for mostly nostalgia. That's how they went into it when they revealed it. And it's the, it's the, exact, it's the exact same as the one released in the 90s, but the thing is, it's not updated, it's not modified, it doesn't have a backlight, it's just pure nostalgia to have as a collector's item for people who want to get it, which, again, I'm not going to say is a bad thing, I just don't know why they did it. I get why they did it, I just don't know, like, I don't know, it baffles me, it baffles me why, why they would release one of these. I know why, because they can, marketing, nostalgia, Mighty Morphin, I, I just don't get why they would release this, because it's got a, like, pure, like, a certain market base, which is older fans like me who remember this stuff, because no doubt about it, the younger collector won't be picking this up, they might, but, like I said, this is just, like, a pure nostalgia thing, um, that confuses me with why they're releasing it, um, so yeah, that, that's my little tangent. Um, I probably won't be picking it up, that's for sure, unless I see it really cheap, but apart from that, yeah. Um, so let's scroll up and talk about the Lightning Collection wave. So, first up is Phantom Ranger. Phantom, this, okay, 
we're going to talk about Wave 10, because Wave 10 was leaked a week prior, and then we found out the reveal for it in the Fan First Friday. So, we've got the Phantom Ranger, which looks really freaking cool. This is an awesome figure, I will say that. The uh, figure looks really freaking mint with how it looks and stuff like that. It looks pretty freaking amazing. Um, with the detail going into it. A lot of people are complaining that it says in space Phantom Ranger when he first appeared in Turbo. Uh, I don't really care. It's a figure. I'm probably going to keep it in the box and put it on display somewhere. Um, but either way, it looks really cool. Like This is one of like the good looking figures. Like The Magnet Defender was a good looking figure because it's not like your usual Ranger in spandex. It's a person in armor. And this is kind of the same thing, and it also looks really cool. I do dig it because of what he's based on in the Sentai, like RC Racer, I believe he was called. But this figure looks really freaking awesome. So, scrolling down, we've got Riley from Dino Charge. Uh, this one looks pretty cool, I will say that. I do like the suit. It looks really freaking awesome. Um, I believe it looks pretty good. They managed... I don't know if they managed to get the belt buckle correct compared to the other one on Chase. Um, but either way, this one looks really cool. I think uh, this, it looks pretty mint. Uh, I don't know what to say about the head sculpt. It kind of looks like a mix between like Captain America and Riley. But the head sculpts are hit or miss. I mean, people always complain about the head sculpts that it doesn't look like the actors or actresses and stuff like that. But it's pretty hit or miss when it comes to the head sculpts in Power Rangers. Um, here and there. Only certain characters get the high quality head sculpts uh, most of the time. But either way, this one looks really cool and yeah, I do dig it. So then we scroll down and we've got Tanya. Tanya, this one looks really cool as well. Um, this one also looks really cool. Um, F in the chat for Rocky not getting his signature Zeo weapons. And I don't know if they have plans on releasing his signature Zeo weapons. They said they might. But who knows when they will do that. They said look forward to it in 2022. So maybe they'll do a 5 pack for the Zeo Rangers. Who knows. Um, but this one looks really cool. The head sculpt looks really nice. I think this one looks pretty good. Um, and then we scroll down. And we've got Cassie. I love the Mega Ranger. Or the Power Rangers in space look. I love Mega Ranger. I love Power Rangers in space. This one looks really cool. But the head sculpt. The head sculpt looks so weird. A lot of people say it looks like, um, Chick from iCarly, uh, when you look at it. Um, I want to say it kind of does, to be honest. Um, I don't think they captured, like, the, like I said, the head sculpts are very hit and miss. Like, I don't know what they're doing for the head sculpts. If they're getting their, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, what they look like now compared to what they look like back in the past, but... They always say we've got amazing 3D technology and inkjet print machines and usually the head sculpts don't come out looking the way they um, do. Like, looking at this Cassie figure with her head, it honestly looks like, um, I want to say kind of what Patricia looked like in Super Megaforce where she was a little bit older. Um, that's, what, that's, that's what it looks like they based the mold on. But yeah, I'm going with the memes that it looks like iCarly or and stuff like that. But either way, I do like the suit. Like, I love Mega Ranger. I watched it this year. I did a review on it. Check it out. Um, little clicky link uh, up below. But I like this suit. I'm a fan favorite of Mega Ranger and Power Rangers in space. Um, this figure looks good apart from the head, I will say that. And then scroll down, and we got Eye Guy, which was sort of leaked an hour before. Um, Eye Guy, I don't know. People are saying the one from 19, the night, like, oh, pardon me. People are saying the one from the 90s looks um, better than this one. I can't remember the one from the 90s. Um, I didn't have the Eye Guy toy growing up, but. I do like how the eye closes. That was a cool little feature they did for it. But um, eye guy looks all right. I will say that um, he looks pretty cool. Super bulky, which um, a lot of people do say they're too bulky, they're too big. Uh, why are they doing this and stuff like that? But I think eye guy, it looks pretty cool. I still don't get why they're doing the monster line. 
Um, I thought this was left out to die, but it looks like it's alive and well. So let's scroll down. And we talked about that, we talked about that. Power Month, we should talk about Power Month. So next month is the anniversary of Power Rangers. So they said they're going to do Power, More, Power Month. And they're going to reveal new products every week with different themes. So that should be interesting. To keep up with Power Month as it's happening in August, hit that subscribe button for updates and stuff like that. And I'll be surely talking about it on the channel. So scroll down. Okay, now we're talking about the Dino Fury stuff, and then we'll close it off with the secret reveal they did. So, uh, let's bring up the toys they did. Uh, I've got all the ones to up that they I want to talk about. Okay, so here's the Megazord. The Megazord looks great. It looks great. I love this Megazord design. Um, I love the Reed Soldier Megazord. Then they showed off the Petra Zord and the uh, Gold Ranger Zord which were found in listings a couple of, a couple of weeks ago, a month ago, I want to say. I can't remember. It's all, all a blur, but um, these were found in listings, so it shows they're working on them. Um, then we've got the Gold Ranger 6-inch figure. figure. That looks really cool. And then we've got this. This is the most controversial thing, I want to say, to come out of the conference. And I've got my problems with it too, so... In this figure, it's an Amazon exclusive, and what you get with it is all five of the Dino Fury basic figure lines. So, you get uh, all five core cool ranges for Dino Fury. The problem is, is Izzy and, and Harvey, Javi, uh, Dino Fury Green and Black, are uh, in this pack as well. They're not getting their own separate figures. They are going to be bundled in this pack. So if you bought all this all the all the if you bought pink, blue, and red separately, you're gonna have to buy them again if you want the full team to complete with this thing. Not only that, they've thrown extra stuff as well, such as the belt buckle over here. Um what else did they throw in there? Is it on here? No, it's not on here, but you get stuff like a belt buckle and uh, keys, and you get a bunch of extra stuff, so, that's my main complaint, like, what, so my main complaint of why they're doing this, I'm gonna go on a bit of a tangent, they said that the, the Dino Fury stuff, like, the six inch figure line, the cro the chroma, um, sword, they're marketed towards a younger audience, the kiddies, and not every kid is, um, what's the word I'm looking for, um, they they don't get everything they want. They 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 they're not spoiled. I will say. Oh, that's the word I'm looking for. Um, they won't get. They usually like a kid gets one or two figures from their parents if they're lucky. Uh, and with this one, it's an entire pack. And say say I'm a kid. Say I'm a, say I'm a young kid, growing up watching Power Rangers: Dino Fury. I've got red. Uh, I've got red, pink, and blue. And I want green and black, but if I want green and black, I have to ask my parents to tell them to get this figure for me. And because it's already got the other figures, who knows if they're going to buy this for me. And I don't know the price line for this, I haven't checked on Amazon yet, I know it's an Amazon exclusive. I'm guessing this is going to go for maybe 30 to 40 at least, maybe 50, I'm not, not entirely sure. Um, but this thing confuses me, like, why, why they would release it, like, it baffles me, um, but this is for their kids' line, and then they just pull something like this, like, they could have made green and black in their own wave separately, and then make the team pack like they did with Beast Morph, it's like, all the rangers, they were in, all in separate waves, and then they were released in a big pack where it was, like, all the rangers and Evox and stuff like that, but this is not doing that, which is really confusing, really confusing indeed, like, they could have hold off with this one, and made, uh, Dino Fury green, black, and gold in their own wave, and then release all six rangers in this little box here, and maybe include Void Knight, because he's the bad guy of the season, but that's not the case, that's not, that's not what they're doing here, so that just kind of baffles me with their choicing, so, I'll close that, well, that's my little rant, and then I'll read your comments after this, um, 
And then the final tease they do is Ninjetti. So, um, they're teasing a Ninjetti figure, which was found in a listing thanks to Lightning Fig PR a couple of months ago, I want to say. I don't know when it was found, but it's on the listing, uh, graph that they've got up on their uh, Twitter page and stuff like that. So this, no doubt about it, is a Ninjetti. You can kind of tell from the silhouette with the clothes, uh, the hoodie over there, and uh, just the boots and the um, sleeves. Like, that looks very Ninjetti. I thought they were probably making a civilian figure, but this, no doubt about it, is a Ninjetti. Um, gut feeling it's going to be that. Will it be movie-based or TV show-based? That's the main question. Um, we'll have to find out. But... Um, that's really cool. They also said when they do, uh, Power Month, they'll be approaching their, um, 100th, hundredth Lightning Collection figure. What that would be, no idea. Probably something Tommy related, no doubt about it. So, let's jump over to my community post and I said, what were your thoughts on the Fan First Friday? So, Donnie Pearson says, more phenomenal. I'm hoping for the Master Morph, but that'd be a cool prop. Someone says, why does the Zinc Pure Ranger think they can take care of this herself? Okay, that's related to the GIF I posted. Um, uh, Nako Bass 28 said, Dino Fury Resorts, I can't wait to buy every last one of them. And the figures, Edison Kelly said, I'm still hoping for Lightning Collection Megazords during Power Month. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping for. We've gotten like the Zero Megazord for the Lightning Collection line when it comes to the Zords. That's about it. Uh... Mugo Mugo says Phantom Range was nice. Actually looking forward to the Izzy figure, but I'm actually interested in actual news from the franchise. Been waiting on August for a while. So I think if you want actual news from the franchise like the split and the next Sentai, I don't think you're gonna find that here. We'll probably be waiting until the end of Dino Fury season two for that. Um Tyler says I'm actually excited for Dino Charge Dino Charge Green and the Mighty Morph and Eye Guy figure. That's cool. Uh, Connor Mine says, I didn't watch the stream, what's your opinion on making Dino Fury Zords, at least the two packs, mix match? Okay, this is what I forgot to bring up as well. So, for the pack, I believe, let me bring it up on Ranger Command, um, here it is. So, for this pack, they are releasing blue and black in a double pack, um, and that really confuses me, because I thought they would do pink and blue, and then green and black, because green and black are siblings, they work together and stuff like that. Uh, but they're not doing that, it's like a different, I guess they're doing it for the Zord Link that go with the Sentai footage with whatever they're doing. Um, but it's a weird mix and match, I think, I, I thought they'd do it how they would do it in the Sentai, where it was pink and blue in their own double pack and uh, green and black and their double pack as well, but yeah, that's an interesting thing to bring up as well, so, um, someone said they love the lightning collection, uh, that gift pink ranger would have been thin on ice, okay, I think they're referring to the gift, someone said they loved it, ready for more than toys, I think a lot of people are, uh, someone said also liked it, the red for the bar C, okay, um, Someone said, no Dino Fury episode 13 preview. Okay, I get this a lot. I get this comment a lot, and I'm going to go on a bit of a tangent. I've nearly been talking for 20 minutes. I've got a couple more um, uh, comments to wrap up, but people keep expecting Dino Fury Netflix news when going into this, or whenever I bring up Dino Fury, they want to know when the next Netflix episodes is going to be. I want to say I don't know when the next Netflix batch of episodes are going to be. I don't know when they're dropping, I don't know when we're going to see them, but please be patient, because something with Dino Fury will come up eventually, no doubt about it. Um, and then Amel says, I don't like the shoes, people know MMPR, but the show in the comics, maybe Dragon Ranger Slayer shoes would be nice. Uh, MMPR sells, and um, I really do dig those Megazord shoes, I think they look really cool, I will be honest, but with that said... The Fan First Friday, I've got mixed feelings about it with some of the stuff they're releasing. A couple of problems here and there, but overall, what are your thoughts? And if you watched the entire 20 minute video, thank you so much, much appreciated. But with that said, I'm going to bring this video to a close. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and don't forget to turn on all notifications. I'll see you guys in the next video. 
Peace out, take care, and have a wonderful day or night. Bye-bye.